Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to create these sort of glowing buttons that are animated with that glowing background and when you hover over them they're going to show the full glow through there. We're going to extend on that today. I thought it would be kind of nice if you're using these glowing buttons to have something with a glowing frame behind it that, that matches them. So if I roll up a bit, I've got three little sections here, or call to actions, and we've got that nice similar glowing background going on those. When you hover over, they're going to show the full glowing gradient right there. That's pretty cool. That's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if this happens on your site, which is what you want. To do this, yesterday we used a bit of code supplied by Leandro Simoas. And I apologize again if I said your name wrong. We're going to use part of this today. We don't need all of it, but we're going to use part of it to create the effect that we want to affect. And to write this code today, we need to be in our additional CSS panel in our customizer. To get your customizer, go to your dashboard, go down to appearance, customize. That'll bring you to this page. Down at the bottom, you'll find additional CSS right here. So let's just get rid of everything that I put in here for this today. And let's publish the changes. Now let's go back and I'll delete this little section here. Let's enable the visual builder. Okay, so that's now given us just regular sections here, regular call to actions. I'm just going to delete this row and we'll start from scratch again. Okay, well what I've done, here's the code that we wrote yesterday. And what I'm gonna do is take it and I'm just gonna change the class name and create a new class with it. But we don't need all of this. We don't need the glow on hover bit. We just want the before bit and the active and the after bit. So, and again, I'll, as always, I'll put this code down below the video here. Uh, for anybody that wants to use it and also I'll put the link to this the original code that we had from Leandro here I'll put a link to that as well but I'm just going to take this from the second one here all the way down to the end of the keyframes there going to copy it I'm going to go up I'm going to put a title in always a good idea to put a title if you're writing CSS forward slash star star forward slash in between the stars we can write notes and titles because it won't be read as code so let's say glowing frame and down underneath I'm going to paste that code that I'm copying that I just copied now everywhere it says glow on hover I want to change that to say a different class now just the glow on hover nothing else we're going to change so let's call it glow frame G L O W f-r-a-m-e call yours whatever you want it's got to be unique and it's a good idea for it to make sense to you so i'm going to copy the glow frame and everywhere i see the glow on the hover class i'm going to replace it with glow frame There we go. So we've got the keyframes and we've got everything we need in there that we actually took yesterday from Leandro's code. And remember, I'll put this all below for anybody that just wants to cut and paste it into their site. And as this is CSS, you can use this on any site. I know this is Divi video, but we don't have to use it for Divi today. Let's just publish this. This will work for any theme that you can add CSS and HTML to. Okay, well, let's go back to our page and let's create a little section. We'll create a new section. I've got a section here with a gradient background, black and blue, with a row in it. I'm adding another row to this particular section. I'm going to use three columns for this. Obviously, use what you want. And this will work on any module you want to add this class to. I'm simply going to use a call to action. 
I'm going to change that background color to perhaps a black or a dark color. Come with the most Divi modules. If you click on the little three dots under the color there, it'll give you a more intensive color palette. I'm going to put that sort of dark gray, almost black color in there. OK, but when I hover on it, I don't want to see it because I want to see our full effect. So again, common to most Divi modules, if you hover up over the dark writing here, you'll find some icons. If they're not there, just hover over it and they will appear. If you've got an arrow, we can set a desktop state when our mouse is not on it and a hover state when the mouse is on it. When we hover, I'm going to set that to transparent so we get our nice glowing effect going on behind there. But before that can actually happen, we need to put in our CSS class. And the class we created for this is Glow Frame. So let's just copy that. I think it was still in my clipboard. In our call to actions, I can go over to Advanced, to CSS ID and Classes, and I'm going to give it that class. Now you may not see anything on the, the back end right now, but when we refresh, it should be there. Because we saved our custom code here, we published that. So we'll save that. OK, the only other thing I want to do from memory, we had a border on a border radius of 10 picks on our little glow thing, which gave it that sort of curve. I roll down here that gives it the curves on the side. I'm going to match that to my module here. So on the design, I'm going to go down a border and rounded corners. I'm going to make that 10. Just put in the 10. It'll put in the picks for you. If you've got that chain linked, it does all four at once. So that should match now. So we've given it the class. Let's just save this and refresh the page. Now that we've refreshed it, let's have a good look. And when we hover over, we've got that little glow going on right there. Not seeing the border. Let's exit the Visual Builder and see if it's going to work on the front end, then we'll duplicate it. So let's save this again. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there's our little glowing border. And when we hover over it, it shows the whole of the animated gradient right there, which is great. Get off, it just shows the border. So let's enable the Visual Builder and duplicate this. Just going to go down. I'm going to hit the two squares to duplicate it a couple times. Drag one of them across. Doesn't matter which one, as they're all identical. Now, to recreate this effect on any module whenever you're building your page, you simply have to give it that class. Let's add a new row underneath here, and let's use a different module. I'm going to use a single column on this row. Now let's just pop a blurb module in there this time. I'll get rid of the image. Don't want to put an image in there. I'll give it the same background. Now I'm just going to round off the corners a little bit like we did before. So I want to give it a bit of padding top and bottom too. So let's give it a bit of padding top and bottom. Just put it 50 in, it'll put in the picks for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. And I want my text to be light in color there. There it is, and let's center align it. Now, I just want to give it the 10 picks border, same as our other ones there. Fantastic. And to finish off, all I need to do is give it the class and it'll have that border. Once we put this class in there, CSS ID and classes, let's paste our class name in there. And there it is. We've got it. Save our changes. Exit the visual builder. And there we go. There's our little three boxes. When we hover over them, they reveal the animated gradient right there. And on the bottom one, similar thing. And all you have to do to add this to any module is give it that class. And just remember to round off your borders if you want to and change your background color to whatever you need. 
And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. Like I mentioned, if somebody's mousing around your site, something like this happens, it's going to grab their attention quickly. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll put this code below the video. You're welcome to use it and ma manipulate it however you want. And once again, a big shout out to Leandro Simoes uh, for supplying this initial code. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.